Okay, here we go with completing the square. Completing the square is, fine, is used primarily to find the vertex so that you can graph the parabola easily. We know this is a parabola, we have an x squared, and from this form we cannot tell the vertex easily. So we'll follow the rules and find the vertex. So this is going to be, first you're going to factor out whatever is with the x squared from the x squared and the x. So 2, and then we'll have x squared plus 6x plus 14. Then the arrow step is take half of whatever is with the x and its sign and square it. Next, add this in the brackets plus and minus. Notice if I add 9 and I subtract 9, I don't do anything to the equation. So that does not change the value, it just changes what it looks like and it will be useful for us. The plus has to go first all the time. Then underline the first three in the brackets and factor these. Well, these are always going to be whatever you wrote in that little arrow step. Always. So you just copy it, it's the easiest thing ever. Or you can think through and do x and x, 3 and 3, and oh yeah, x plus 3 in bracket squared. And then the 2 is still attached to these first 3 because they're factored, and now we have to distribute it to the negative 9, so that gives us negative 18 plus 14 here at the end, and now simplify. So 2 bracket x plus 3 in bracket squared minus Four. Oh look, our favorite parabola. So we can tell a ton of things from this. We know this 2 is a vertical stretch by 2. This is left 3. And this is down 4. All of those starting at our basic parabola. So our vertex then, which usually is what we're looking to find, is going to be negative 3 and negative 4. Hooray! Okay, I'll do a couple more examples. So, number two, I'm going to factor out the three. And I've got x squared plus 2x, end of bracket, plus 1. Arrow step, plus 1, in bracket squared, is still 1. 3, bracket, x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 1, end of bracket, plus 1, and stop the video here and try it yourself first and see if you can finish off, equals, factor those first 3, x plus 1 in bracket squared, because I'm just going to look there and copy that, and then I have to remember, negative 3 plus 1, equals 3 bracket x plus 1 in bracket squared minus 2. So I can see my vertex is negative 1 and negative 2, among other things. Okay, number 3. Give this guy a try before I do it and then turn back on the video. Here we go. So 2 has to come out of the x squared and the x, even if it doesn't come out nicely, that's okay. Half of this, so negative 3 quarters squared is 9 over 16. Stop the video and try now if that was a panic moment for you. Equals 2 bracket x squared minus 3 over 2x plus 9 over 16 minus 9 over 16 equals to factor those and this is when it's really great to remember that it's sitting right there in the arrow step and then whoops I totally missed this plus 5 coming down there 2 multiplied into here is going to give me negative 9 over 8 plus 5 is 40 over 8 or you could just use your calculator equals 2 bracket x minus 3 quarters in bracket squared plus 
31 over 8. Yay! So my vertex is 3 quarters and 31 over 8. Ta-da! You'll use completing the square a ton, so learn to love it. It'll be a great one.